right, time to solder up a circuit. If needed, please watch the basic soldering video or the alternatives to soldering video if you want to reference those. Always remember to wear safety glasses while doing anything soldering. Safety is your responsibility. If you haven't done so already, please hot glue over the terminals of your motor to protect those fragile solder joints. This is what your basic circuit is going to look like. So you're going to have a gear motor attached to the battery pack, attached to the switch, and this is where you are actually going to be applying solder. We're going to start with the switch, so we're going to strip the wires. So we have a little bit of a longer wire sticking out. We're going to attach both red wires to the switch terminals. Twist those around and then when I put them together like this, I can kind of hold them a little bit tighter within the helping hands and that, that assists me um, to solder. This is a close-up of me soldering a switch. This isn't the actual switch. If you notice, there's a red and a black wire. Our switch for this project has a both red wires coming in. But you want to get that uh, the, the tip of the solder right in there, touching both the wires and the terminal. So we're going to solder both red wires to the switch. Now I'm, now I'm actually soldering the switch that we're using for this project. And you can see it goes pretty quickly. You just got to get it heated up, get the solder in there, and pull that out. Now, the only other place to solder, and I'm going to clip off some extra wire there, but uh, the only other place to solder are the two black wires. Twist those together, hold them in the helping hands, and then just add solder. That's usually pretty quick. Now what you want to do is test the direction of your motor. So plop your batteries in. When you look at your motor, the dark side should be facing to the right. There are screws only on one side. Those should be facing you. When you're looking at that direction, the axle should be spinning clockwise. So I turn it on, you can see the axle is spinning clockwise when I'm looking at the motor in the right orientation. So make sure you're there. Remove the batteries again so you don't cause any kind of a short circuit and tape up that last soldering joint using electrical tape um, just to protect that joint. Once you're done with that, your circuit is done. Let's start attaching the wags.